All right, man. So I think this is over for Diddy, man. The time finally has arrived. So the feds has taken Diddy into custody in New York, Manhattan. So this just came in, brand new, just came in right now, Monday night, as I'm speaking right now. So TMZ has posted it. Let me go ahead and read what TMZ has said about Diddy being custody um, in New York, taken into federal, this is federal custody in New York, man. Wow, man. Sheesh, this is going to be like some big, right? So let me go ahead and read it real quick. Diddy was just taken into federal custody in New York Monday night. TMZ has learned. We were told Diddy was taken to the FBF field office in Manhattan. It appears the action was taken in the connection with the ongoing criminal investigation into alleged sex trafficking and other offenses that led to search warrants being issued and executed at Diddy's homes in Beverly Hills and Miami. Diddy's attorney Mark Angelifo, Ange Mark and Yefilo tell TMZ, we are disappointed with the decision to, the, um, to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man, and proven philanthropist who has spent the last 30 years building an empire, adoring his children, and working to uplift the black community. Um, the the um, Diddy attorneys adds he is um he he is um in a, in a he is an imperfect person but is not criminal. To his credit, Mr. Combs has been nothing but cooperative cooperative with this investigation, and he voluntarily voluntarily relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these charges. Please. Res uh, uh, res reserve or uh, please reserve your judgment until you have all the facts. These are the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide, and he looks forward to clearing his name in court. Woo! Man, 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 man. This case has started since March. Listen, man. The Fed has been working overnight. They ain't playing. They got some proofs for the guy to say Diddy is innocent. Diddy is not innocent. He has done, maybe if not all the shit has been accused of, he has done some of them or most of them. So for him to say that Diddy is innocent, that's a cap though. I do understand he's a lawyer. You know, he's working for his client. He's trying to set his, uh, his client free. That's cool though, but we all know that Diddy has done some dirty shit too. People around him or loved ones, whatever. We've seen the video from Cassie. We've seen people coming out, lost to left and right. So, D has been going through it. Seriously. Recently, he was uh, uh, he went back to New York, you know, from LA. I think it was in Miami or New York. Or Miami or LA. He went back to New York. He was dapping people. He was on the street. He went to he went back to Harlem. Like I said, I made so many um, so many shows about, I talk about this on, on the channel, about Diddy. I knew Diddy internally was hurt. Although he was out there showing people like he's still living his best life, doing all that. But inside, he was burning. He was he was burning in the inside because he knew what was coming. So the Fed didn't raid Diddy's house, Diddy's houses for no reason. For you to say they don't have any evidence, they do. You're gonna find out. So he's in custody right now, federal custody. That means he's are he's already in. He's not convicted yet, although, but it's not looking good. So the next step is going to be him going on trial. On top of that, he has so many lawsuits. Bro, this is not, I don't, listen, I don't see how Diddy is going to escape this. He's going to serve some time, though. The sex trafficking, that's a very serious crime. And for his case to even start, it's going to take some time. The Fed, they got time, man. They're going to take, like, he probably going to be there. Like, look what happened to Young Tug, though. Even Jeffrey Epstein, uh, Jeffrey uh, Epstein, when he died, Epstein, Jeffrey Epstein, when he died, he wasn't even convicted yet. He wasn't even convicted yet, but he was 
in prison already, in custody already. So Diddy right now is wearing the uh no the, the, the yellow uniform. No, the, the orange uniform already. Man, I think he knew what was coming. That's why it was like he was trying to have fun, his last fun. But bro, bro, listen. You gotta face the music. You gotta face the music. If he's very is if he's really innocent, that man gonna be free somehow. But if he did what whatever he's been has been accused of, he gonna face the music, man. He's going to face the music. Like I said, man, listen, man. We like honestly at some point I kinda like I personally lost like um oh I can I say lost trust. Or I thought like Diddy would be set free. It will not be, you know, it will not be sent to jail. None of that. It's not in jail yet, but it's in custody. So it's not a good look. It's not a good look, though. And this is a big case, though. And the lawyer, the way he's talking, you can tell, like, it sounds defeated. It sounds defeated because this case is going to take time, though. So the, what they were trying to do, they were trying to have Diddy still to be outside. They're doing, you know, go on trial by going home, but now he's going to be going on trial, stay in custody. And that's not a good look, though. That's not a good look. Man, yo, this is going to be big. This is a big news, and Diddy's trial is going to be bigger than R. Kelly. I believe. I believe so. And this trial is going to unpack a lot of things, man. We got it alleged to pack death right we got cassie's case we got a sex trafficking we got a freak offs yo speaking of freak offs man this we we probably gonna find out what celebrities have been on them freak offs some of them and did is not going down by himself though if he goes on trial which is going to right during the trial we gonna find out some names who will be like, whoa, 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 whoa. He did that too. Because the Fed is collecting information. People gonna be sending, I think they already sent subpoenas to people. I think they sent recently they sent one to uh the hotel in Miami. And they're gonna send some more. Like they like man, they kind of work. I'm I'm not even gonna lie, they kind of move, they move a little fast on this too, because they started back in March. Like we are in September, so that's like six months. I mean, it's not super slow, it's not super fast. I'll say like between though. We're gonna find out some names, some people like we'll be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Especially people have worked with on uh, Diddy, bad boys. Some of them are catching the plane right now, they're moving now, they're going overseas right now because they know the storm is coming. The storm is coming though. Some of them, yo. I'm pretty sure some of them have already moved out, but they want the ones that let's say some of the ones are already on vacation right now, they probably won't come back though. They'll be like, nah, man, this that guy's good. If they know they've done something. Only if they know that they have done something, they won't come back because this is a federal case and they got money for this. DD is a high profile. Every time, like the um the, the, the federal has um has a case as big as DD, they make money. So they don't play. They take the time to make sure they got all the facts. So that's why I say when the lawyer says that, oh, the attorney did, his attorney said that, oh, they, they should wait until they get all the facts. They do. They do. They don't have to tell you that they, they have it, but they do. So this is a big case. It's going to look good on them. If Diddy gets convicted, it's going to look good on them. This not only nationally, internationally too, because Diddy is a mogul. Diddy is like music mogul top maybe top five top ten people in the music industry all time is there so this everybody's gonna watch this news everybody gonna talk about it this is a worldwide news though so if the federal are uh, get to convict diddy and bring all the facts whoo someone is getting promotion someone is getting paid good someone is getting a raise that's for facts that's for facts, though. Man, I can go on and on about this, but the story is going to progress as we go. And I'll come back here to give you, you know, to keep you updated about whatever's going on in Diddy's, um, in Diddy's case. But um, let's, um, let's see what's going to happen, man.
it's gonna be very interesting, man. Um, yeah, that's what I gotta say, man. Big, big is the